Hi, this is the um, second part of my tutorial for those of you who are new to Woot um, and are trying to design, you know, do your designs and stuff. This is the coloring portion. I went ahead and just um, bucketed all my colors in ahead of time because I didn't want to waste time on that. Um, but basically, you know, I like to have my colors selected and have them represented here with the sample that way I know how many colors I have going on and when I've reached my limit of six um, you, know, you can just bucket things in however you like and I have everything including the line art on one layer right now um, if you want you can go ahead and make a copy of just the line art to another layer uh, that will flatten later that way I can I can work on a layer under and color and it won't affect it. So I'm just going to go through here and uh, color it real quick, show you some of the different techniques that I use. Um, you can lasso and bucket, bucket things or lasso delete is one way to do things. Um, you can also use this pencil tool. And I, I actually do a lot of that on something like this. Um, I, I like to, if I'm going to be coloring an area, I'll magic wand it first. That way I don't go into any of the other areas. I like to work dark to light uh, to start off with and then I'll go ahead and come back in with my shadows and stuff. And this is just a rough, uh, it's going to be a rough coloring on this one just to get it done in the 10 minute time that I have uh, for this video. Okay, once I have that, this is things colored up. Um, then what I, I need to do here is pick the Pantone colors. Now, I don't start off with the Pantone colors. You can if you want. Um, but I just kind of like to get a fill for the colors that I would like. And then I go from there. Uh, if there's not a Pantone that matches up, I'll find one that's similar or close enough. Um, the other thing about coloring this way is... If I want to do this and say I want to make it more, a little more moody, I can go in with any of my color adjustment tools. Um, you know, change the colors up that way. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I can work with before I get into my uh, picking my Pantones. But once I'm ready to pick the Pantones, and this is another place where these little uh, dots I made are going to come in handy. I'm going to select this first one, click on my color picker here, my foreground color, um, sample the color that I want, and then go to color libraries, and it's going to give me what the closest approximation to my color um, in the Pantone family. Now, once I have that, actually, um, once I have my Pantone color selected here, I can make a new layer, fill that in on the layer, and that's uh, my my color. You should always take note of what Pantone color you just used. So that would be Pantone 7494C, and that's what I'll call this.
and then you basically just go right on down the line and fill those in and you'd of course make a new layer for each one but that's basically how it works and when I'm done I'll have six layers that actually should be on its own layer um, so when it's done you'll have six layers including a white layer and a black layer those just those can just get their own layer obviously you don't need a Pantone to match to those um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And uh, that's the basics of coloring your shirt design for Woot. Um, if there's any questions, leave a comment, and I'll see if there's any other things I can address for you. But that's it for now. Thanks.